Okay guys, it's um, week 8 of pregnancy. I can't believe I'm saying that, but we're gonna go see um, the baby, so join us. Bring along this Suchok and some candies for help. Okay, so guys, honestly, the past two weeks has been... Uh, I wouldn't... I don't want to say horrible because I think I have it a little bit better than other people, but nausea has been so difficult. I never knew it would be this tough. And um, I haven't been able to do anything except for what I have. I don't have a choice to do. Um, I wanted to like film pregnancy symptoms and stuff, but I think a part of me feels like, you know, I don't know, I went through miscarriage before, I'm nervous and I don't really know what to feel about this. So I really hope after today, I'll be able to sort of um, become a little bit more stable than last time. And I'm just hoping that by going in, I'll be able to see the baby's heartbeat. All this still feels very foreign to me. I don't really know what I'm saying or even filming myself saying this. It's weird looking at myself filming it, so... <sighs> Hopefully everything will go well. God bless us. God is with us. Let's go. Wow, it's been at least 3 to 4 days since I came out. Wow. The flowers are all out. It's so pretty. Dang. Wow. Yo, that's the power of spring. Everything starts to bloom. Everything is prettier. <gasps> Tebo! Winter is so gloomy, but spring is so pretty. Look, wow! I didn't know spring would look this good. Okay, Naughty's waiting for me there, so I'm gonna head over. Naughty, how are you feeling? Let's go! Excited. Oh, no. <laughs> Nervous. He's okay. He's gonna be okay. Oh, oh. oh. It's so clean, babe. It looks so nice. I can't even see the hubby. You can see right Oh, yeah, I'm so bad. I'm going to be a little bit of a little Okay guys, so we're just done with our checkup. Everything is doing well. Just that I thought I would feel like oh everything's fine now, but doctor said that there is like a sack of blood next to the baby. And why would that affect? Because uh, it has to stick well, but because of the blood, there is a risk of it to drop. Yes, that's what he said. And um, I feel like going through this journey, there's always a lot of like small things that uh, makes you, you know, keep you on your toes. But, you know, we just have to keep praying and hopefully everything's okay. But yay, everything seems fine. So far, so good. A bit nervous still, but I feel like, ugh, okay, I just to have to wait until next. What? Actually, she's next supposed to come week. next month, but she can't take. Four weeks yeah, I think it's too long. I think okay, two weeks. I, I want to at least see if the blood sac is like not growing because it's not supposed to grow. So as long I think if it's staying the same, you know, thing it'll be fine. But you know, like it's a bit like how to say ah, uh, where teeth have a bit of like rotten also, but the rot just stay there. So hopefully it doesn't like progress any further from there. So I came home and dropped Naughty off at CrossFit because he wanted to go for CrossFit and I just felt like I just need some kind of calming down because I was very very anxious at the beginning and when I found out there was a blood sack actually that really overtook my attention so much that I wasn't even really that thankful that baby's heart was beating or he or she is growing well so um, I just want to say that sometimes we can 
get caught up in life so much and in the negative things that some it's very hard to focus on the good stuff and yeah i just wanted to you know take a walk and then you know just get some groceries and just chill and just you know be reminder of god's goodness in my life like remind myself of the good stuff like we survived three more weeks than the previous um pregnancy and everything since well like i prayed so hard for baby's heartbeat to be going well it's so good at 172 bpm and uh it's so much bigger than the previous um two the two weeks ago that we saw which is very good i prayed that there will be no abnormalities no disorder no issues or anything else with the baby but i forgot to pray about the blood sack that will be outside of the um outside of the 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 womb so i think it's something that i didn't know that's why i couldn't pray about it but still all in all i just feel that you know sometimes i heard someone that god leaves a thorn in our flesh so that we can continue to lean on him and i feel like the miscarriage itself was a thorn already but i feel like maybe in this pregnancy he doesn't want me to be um complacent as well so that's the reason why maybe it happened i mean everything happens for a reason and because of this i can feel i'm very nervous and i have to really keep praying but i kind of promise god that if today uh leongi so leongi is doing fine and he and she's going very very well so i should be very thankful for that and because i pray for it i said that if that happens i'm going to be happy and just going to be like you know let go of my worries today so i was just doing like a prayer walk around the, the you know apartment just trying to tell myself to calm down and sometimes i feel like that's very very necessary in our life so yeah i'm just like sitting here feeling the breeze it's been i don't know how long since i stepped out of the house so yeah i'm just very grateful for that in my life and yeah just someone's gonna walk past so i'm gonna start later again she just walked past me okay anyway so today it's a very very significant and special day in our lives as well we are gonna go to tejon and we're gonna announce to my in-law family that we're pregnant and of course ask for prayer and stuff because there's christian as well um i expected feeling very different from now and being excited but you know you never ever expect to feel like 100 percent perfect in this journey i feel and moms out there i feel like if you're feeling the same way as me i just want to let you know that you're not alone or if you ever felt it this way you're not alone i'm feeling super exhausted and tired nauseous and stuff like that i haven't been really able to talk about like my symptoms and stuff because i'm always anxious and worried you know like what if today's my last day and stuff like that but i'm so thankful that the baby heart beating we're heading over today i'm gonna let them know and um let's just see how it goes i hope i can survive the two hour right there because i can barely survive 30 minutes in the car nausea is just like taking over my whole life right now but yes i'm really excited i really feel excited it's just that you know because of whatever has happened i'm just trying to calm myself down but yes let's get it Okay guys, so now I switch back to camera. Um, we already arrived in Tejon and uh, I kind of slept all the way because I am very scared to sit um car because of nausea and stuff like that. But I'm very, very thankful that we arrived already. And the way that we will surprise our parents-in-law, my parents-in-law will be... So we bought this actually the last time we were, you know, pregnant. And sadly, we didn't get to use it. But basically, it's like some of kind of like a korea thing whereby you can sort of um scratch it when you scratch it all the way to the bottom it will show that it is actually um like wishing them congratulations to your grandma and grandpa okay so let's just see how it goes this kind of thing is kind of you know interesting I'm, I'm sure in iming out they call here iming out because if you are pregnant you're called imishin so that's the reason why it's called iming out like naughty is very very excited but let's just see how it goes i'm super super tired but let's just hope this goes well and they don't suspect any of it we can you know be in this journey together i believe that leongi will be fine and i'm um, just living in god's hands so let's go how do you feel naughty i also never do it before oh i suddenly nervous i wasn't until i see i also a bit stressed now eh, huh? <laughs> are you so scared <laughs> Just record when I go in and ask. Later we sit down. Okay. We sit down. We didn't record. Okay. Ah,那当然没问题。啊，对面，我们如果国宾，如果真的是这样的话，我们会做这样的事情。我们不会做这样的事情。我们会做这样的事情。我们会做这样的事情。我们会做这样的事情。我们会做这样的事情。我们会做
엄마 이거 그런 거 봤나 보고 아빠 이게 나한 번도 아 진짜요? 봤다. 그럼 여기에 칸이 있거든 아. 보면 여기까지 아. 있어 <웃음> 그림이 다른데 뭐 얼마 당첨 될 뻔했나 봐봐 2천 원 2천만 원이가 2천만 원 2천만 원 <웃음> 할머니 당첨이 뭐고 할머니 당첨이면 할머니가 되는 거가 어? 아빠 뭐 뭐, 널 보자. 뭐야? 할부지 당첨돼. <웃음> 뭐야? 이런 게 있나? 엄마하고 어? 아빠가 봐봐라. 뭐고? 할부지 당첨. 똑같은데. 축하합니다. 뭐, 뭐 똑같. 뭔데? 어, 네. <웃음> 할아버지 할머니가 그러니까 내가 할머니가 되고 자기가 할아버지인데 축하합니다. 아, 아 이거 그치? 아 축하합니다. 아, 아, 야, 아, 아빠 그래. 머리가 좀 느리네 생각보다. 아, 아빠 머리가 좀 느리네. 이제 아, 미스로. 아, 나는 나는 뭐 할머니 정점이 뭐 그냥. 뭐, 아, 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 오 마이 갓. 축하한다. 야, 좀 보고 인사해라. 안녕. 안녕. 내야. 엘사 동생 또 있다. 그렇죠. 어. 와불란. 슬픈. 동생이 세 명이나 있다. 땡큐. 아이고 아이고 이거 또 또. 상아야. 왜? 새로이 발효의 동생 생겼는데. 왜? 아이고 아이고 이 행광등아. 그러면 누가 생겼겠노? 아... 아이고 이제 아 가나 아이고 세로나 어? 세로니 이제 언니 된대요 세로 언니 된다 이거 이제 바로 어? 사자가 있구나 그래 바로나 축하합니다 축하합니다 바로나 그 지금 여기 입덧 중이다 여기 지금 어... 축하고 축하지 <laughs> it's been about two weeks since two or three weeks since the surprise happened for my mom-in-law and my dad-in-law but my parents don't know about it yet so actually my plan was to um, wait for them to come to Korea because they'll be coming to Korea end of June to let them know however Naki thinks that it's a little bit too long of a wait so that's the reason why I'm filming this video because we're gonna surprise them. Anyways, we're in our 11th week. I really just wanna like calm down. I've been trying to survive every single day because it's been so hard. I really wanted to film. I really thought that I wouldn't have this bad of a morning sickness, but no, it just lasts the whole days. But I will talk about the symptoms and all this kind of thing in another video. Today, I just wanted to talk a little bit about the surprise that we're gonna do. Okay, so me and Naughty decided to order this really cute um blue dragon shoe because because this year is a Chongnyong year, which is blue dragon in Korea. We wanted to surprise them, but I didn't really know how I want to give them a little gift, so we ordered like a cute blue dragon so can you see oh my gosh it's so freaking cute so we're gonna pack this up later and because we went for our 10 week scan last week baby is doing well he's i mean i wanted to give the real ultrasound but we forgot and we pasted it on the uh, book already so this is the ultrasound of leong yi oh by the way we call it chang leong yi if you're wondering chang is not this surname and Yong is actually dragon in Korea. In Chinese, it's long. That aside, this is Chang Leong Yi at 10 weeks. He or she, I'm not very sure about gender yet, is about 3.53 cm. And as you can see, it's floating inside here into my belly. And I am wanting to pick the every waking moment of my life. Okay, anyways, so we're gonna cut this out and probably write a small note. Maybe I'll write like a letter inside. I'll, I'll show you when I do it later. And I'm gonna put it inside here. Either inside or in front of it. And then, because it's a surprise, I'm just gonna like put it in some random box. I got this from Star Korean. <laughs> PPL, Star Korean Best Skincare Provider. Okay, anyways. Then we're gonna put this inside. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my mom 
and dad and my sister because Janelle is my younger sister Janelle is here so we're gonna su surprise her face to face but for JC and uh, my t my parents um, I hopefully they will reach they it will reach them by this week or earliest next week I'm gonna sit them down and get my sister to like film them and open this together and they'll be so shocked to see it so Okay guys, so I kind of finished the lunch journey and I really wanted to start getting it done because we have to send it out by today. So here's the thing, I'm thinking of making it into like a card format like this. So I'm just going to cut and I'm going to just fold it like that into a little card format. Just going to write a note here. I'm thinking what to write, something very simple and then I'm just going to put it in front here so that they cannot see what's inside but they will see this first. So I'm thinking something along the lines of hi grandma, hi grandpa, and hi auntie. So let's get to it. Then after that, when they open, it's this. <laughs> it's yummy. So cute. What? How do you think you will turn out the surprise? I'm expecting a big reaction because this is like first Yeah, first time, right? First time, but not sure because I think your dad will have a reaction. Not sure about your mom. Actually, honestly, I think What do you think? What do you think? Let's guess. Do you think he will like they will cry or something? They'll be like, oh no lah, I don't I don't think they will cry. I don't think so. Okay, so waiting for her to come out. She just arrived from Osaka, and yeah, we're just waiting for her. Guys, do you see her? She's there. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> You're so disgusting. Are you excited about staying in Busan for three damn months? Not really. Not really. <laughs> I got a present for you, so since you come all the way. <laughs> Can you guess what it is first? What can fit inside this bag? A Nintendo Switch. Oh wow, I think I'm so rich. Huh? No, I swear, really fell. Is it ready to open? Wait, wait, wait. So you open first, open, then you can get it. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Usually, surprise is up to 100%, ma. so let me open 25%. Show the camera, show, show the camera first. Just take out the brown plastic. What's that? What's this? Huh? Hi, I'm Rong Yi. Yeah, I pray, pray every day that God really answer my 